All right, so let's take a look at a related rate problem. All right, so we've got a boat is pulled into a dock by a rope attached to the bow of the boat and passing through a pulley on the dock that is one meter higher than the bow of the boat. If the rope is pulled in at a rate of one meter per second, how fast is the boat approaching the dock when it is eight meters from the dock? All right, so first, let's draw a picture. All right, so we've got the boat is approaching the dock, okay? The boat here is approaching the dock. Uh, we don't know what the distance is. That distance is gonna be constantly changing, so we'll just call that X. Uh, we know the pulley is one meter higher than the bow of the boat. So if this is the bow of the boat, this would be one meter. And then the length of the rope, well, we're pulling that in. So that distance is going to be changing also. We'll call that Y. All right. So here we've got, we've got the rope and then this is the pulley. Okay. All right. And we know this would be a right angle. All right. So what we need to do is we need to write down the information that they give us and what they want us to find. So let's write that down. All right. So a boat is, pull, is being pulled into a dock by a rope and passing through a pulley on the dock that is one meter higher than the bow of the boat. Well, we've got that. That's one meter. If the rope is pulled in at a rate of one meter per second. So that's how fast this rope is being pulled in. That's the change in Y. So that's dy dt is equal to, now since it's pull, being pulled in, and notice this length, it's, it's getting shorter. We're going to say that's negative one meter per second. And then they want to know how fast is the boat approaching the dock when it is eight meters from the dock. So we want to know how fast this distance here is changing. So we need to know dx dt. That's what we're looking for. All right, so let's come up with an equation. Well, I've got a right triangle here. So I know that y squared is equal to x squared plus one squared. So let's take the derivative, okay? We're taking the derivative with respect to t. So I've got 2y times dy dt equals 2x times dx dt, and then the derivative of 1 squared, that's a constant, so that's 0. Now, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for dx dt, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2x to get it by itself. So that's going to give me dx dt is equal to y over x dy dt. All right. So now all we have to do is just plug all the information into here. All right. Well, dy dt, well, I know that's negative 1. So I'll plug the negative one into there and they tell us when the boat is eight meters from the dock. So when this distance is eight meters, so I know I can plug eight in for X. So let's look at this. We know X is equal to eight meters, but now I need to find out what Y is. Well, I know X is eight, so I can plug that in, and this is one, so, so I, can, I can solve for Y. Well, Y is just equal to the square root of this. That's eight squared plus one squared, so Y is equal to the square root of 65, and that's meters. All right, so now let's go ahead and just plug everything in, so I get dx dt is equal to the square root of 65 over 8, just plugging in the x and the y, times dy dt, which is negative 1, 
And that is going to give me negative 1.01 meters per second. Now, this is the rate. This is the boat approaches. the dock it's getting closer and closer to the dock all right yeah the boat i don't know if i said rope before but i meant boat all right so hopefully this helped um check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching